Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in this video i will show you that how we can perform a box pin can design in the design expert the same data has been also analyzed in the minitab software experiment have been performed on this tabletop cnc milling machine as the experimentation is performed for the students so a small piece of aluminum has been taken for the machining our response is material removal weight so we have measured the weight of the part after each machining on the weigh machine start with the step number 1 how will make a design go to file then go to new design on the left hand side in this window you can see response surface click on this arrow you will get few options there select the box pin can then right i have three numeric factors speed feed and depth of cut so please write the name of factors speed feed then depth of cut the units speed unit is rpm feed is millimeter per minute for the milling and the depth of cut as usual millimeter i have taken the speed low level as 500 feet as a 40 mm per minute and depth of cut 2 mm the high level for the speed is 1000 feet 60 and depth of cut is 4 after that there is a choice available to us center points per block because this is an experimentation for the students in the lab so we can reduce it but however if you are going to do the research work i strongly recommend you do not minimize them so here i am taking two center points after that click on next button then write the name of your response variable how many variable we have in this one only response is one and its unit is millimeter cube per minute after that it's millimeter cube per second sorry then click on finish you will get a design in which there are few columns standard order run order three columns for the factors speed feed depth of cut along with their units and then last column for the response variables now let's sort out this design click on this cell on the top left hand side then right click click on space point type so you will get a name for each treatment so you can see at the treatment number 7 and the treatment number 4 they are for the center points and then again click on this cell for the top right then the last option sort standard order ascending order so the center points are now moved to the end of this design however we will follow this run order now to perform the experimentation further you can see the center points at a, are at the center of the range for example we have taken 500 and 1000 so it's 750 50 in between 40 and 60 and 3 between 2 and 4 so now you got the point that the center points are at the center of the ranges selected for each parameter now 14 experimentation has been performed on this machine and the data is collected to save the time i have entered the data now we'll go to the column graphs in the column graph now focus on right hand side top column graph column tools in which we have x axis material removal rate and y axis the parameters we will check that whether there is a correlation between a parameter and the response variable so we got a low correlation of 0.287 between mrr and the speed then click on b feed so we got a strong correlation between mrr and the feed now for the c depth of cut there is a very low correlation between 0.078 it is found to be an insignificant correlation however if i want to find the correlation between two parameter please remember it will always be zero just like a speed and depth of cut correlation zero now i am going to check for b feed it is also zero after that click on the evaluation button the evaluation button will tell you that which of the term have been included in the model the term that is written with the green m they are these terms will be included in the model and those are with the cross they will not be included in the model after that click on analysis this r1 mrr we will get this window that whether any transformation needed i have selected no then fit summary in the fit summary it is suggesting us so right now there are two windows if you are confusing then click on this top 
sync combine all tabs so you will get only one window only one results at a time so the model is suggesting that you will have you can you will prefer to use the linear why because the linear model is explaining 33.81 percent variation in the material removal rate whereas the two two if we include a two factor interaction or adjusted r scale is decreased and quadratic terms are are have a negative effect on the adjusted r scale so it is suggested to use the linear one after that we will go towards the ANOVA and now the ANOVA table is suggesting that model is an insignificant predictor of MRR then or all main factor ABC over 2 FI 2 factor interaction terms and quadratic terms all of them are found to be insignificant because the p-value associated with all of these is greater than 0 0.05 Please do not break your heart. It's a student project that has been performed in a three hours lab. So the results might be not attractive for you people because all of these main parameters are insignificant. Why? Because the machine capability was not enough to make larger curves and to, and to find the actual effect of these parameters on the material removal rate. Further, my lack of fit is also found to be insignificant not significant because again the p-value is greater than 0.05 it means that that the model has fitted the data or the experimental points in a good way after this ANOVA tab I will suggest you to shift to coefficient step beta so here this column coefficient estimate this column these are the coefficients that will be used for making the regression equation then click on coded equation so you got a regression equation for the material removal rate in which we have all of the variables are coded however in order to find the actual equation click on this actual equation and this is the actual equation for material removal rate after the completion of ANOVA and the regression analysis we have to move towards the model graphs in the model graph we got these contour plots now how we will interpret we have two axes on x axis we have taken speed on y we have taken the feet whereas this whole this these are the response values that have been that are plotted for the material removal rate so what is meant by this blue and the green color to follow this guide now 0 0.546 is the lowest value of the material removal rate and 2.13 is the highest value that has been shown by the red color whereas the low value is shown by the blue color so you can see when the speed and the feed of cut, a cut is at low level we got a very minute material removal or very small value of the material removal rate however with the increase in speed and feed of cut and feed at their highest level so the material removal rate has been increased but it not it's not approaching to its maximum value that is 2.13 or it is shown by the red color so now we will have to go for other parameters before going towards other parameter an interesting thing is that what is the effect of depth of cut on in the interaction of these two parameter so you can move this knob towards high level so you got a highest material removal rate when the depth of cut is also at the highest point and if you move the depth of cut at the lowest so you will get a medium level of the material removal rate now how you can check it for the rest of the combinations so I have selected term a B you can select the term a C and then again move this in order to check at which setting we have now at this setting we have the lowest material removal rate if we move towards the right we got the highest material removal rate and the medium material removal rate in majority of the area after doing this click on the most interesting 3d surfaces so this is the most in interest interesting for the res uh, research papers articles if you want to write in the thesis whatsoever so please i will strongly recommend you people to must try this in your paper so in the 3d surface you will get such surfaces again you have two parameters on the axis speed and depth of cut you can see here speed x1 and c depth of cut however you can change the feed value by changing this feed value you will see that this surface will be move up and down so 
at the low level of the feed there is a lowest or you can say minimal material removal rate whenever you increase the feed from this 40 to 60 the material removal rates increases somehow and we will get red color there this red color resembles the feed at the highest speed at 1000 and the depth of cut also at the highest 4 so at this corner we are getting the maximum we have done with this for AC let's try it for the BC so we have now B and C feed and depth of cut now what's the effect of changing the speed take it to the maximum we will get again the highest material mobile weight at this corner and if we uh, take the speed to the minimum again the lowest material mobile weight at this corner where we have depth, depth of cut at maximum feed rate at the minimum and the speed also minimum at 500 then click on Q it will help you to get a visualization that which are the point we have taken so these are the point the, in the middle of the line we have taken because in the box printing design we have to focus on the interaction between the parameters after that click on this optimization now we have to optimize our response variable now we have four different criteria option but we have to select the material removal rate why this is our response variable our, our goal is to maximize it so select the maximize then then click on solutions in the solutions so we have the solutions so we get the speed at 1000 feed at 60 and depth of cut at 40 it will give you a maximum material removal rate of 2.125 with a desirability of 0 0.997 here you can also see what was your constraints so these were my constraint speed 500 to 1000 and feed depth of cut constraint we have taken we have taken the start of this video then the graphs this is the also most interesting that you are getting the speed and depth of cut value with respect to material removal rate in this graph and here in this graph you are getting the, the values again for these two parameters for the desirability then if i uh, change the term to ac again the value has been changed now the last and the most important click on this post analysis and then point prediction just click on it and then click on confirmation so here you can change your location that which location will lead to the maximum drill removal rate let's suppose i am taking speed as 1000 feed at uh, 60 and depth of cut at 0.32 so it's uh, comes out to be uh, 2.1.74 uh, however if i change the depth of cut to 0.4 what's what will happen 1.94 so like in this way sorry speed is 1000 so now you can see the material mode will increase 2.12 so that was all about today's video thanks for watching it bye